Alright, what is up guys? Smoothie here bringing you some Battlefield 3 gameplay. Unfortunately, this is beta gameplay because I currently don't have a PBR, but I'm hoping to get one for my birthday, which is on November 5th, right before Marvel Fair 3 comes out. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is beta, so, uh, uh, don't think this is the real game. Just a fair warning. But this, I'm gonna talk about Battlefield 3 and the, my initial thought of it, and, you know, kind of the changes they made from the beta. So basically I'm going to start out here. Uh, the first thing I noticed was the weapons, uh, the main weapon difference and movement I'm going to say. Um, I'll start out with weapons just because it's probably the more important thing to cover. So basically uh, I think they they balanced the weapons the way they should have been balanced in the beta. So basically what they did was they nerfed the living shit out of the carbines, which is what the engineers use. They nerfed the crap out of semi-auto snipers, and they uh, didn't do much to the assault rifles, and they didn't do much to the LMGs. And so basically, as you, if you've seen any of my other videos, I basically say, use engineer, the weapons are amazing, use uh, snipers, the weapons are amazing, and you know, uh, as far as I can tell, bolt actions are still extremely good, and, but, uh, Carbines don't are extremely inaccurate now. They don't do much damage over range, and so I would not suggest doing that. And I'm just gonna do a quick thing right here on movement. They really slow down movement, as you can see here. I'm doing kind of like a snake kind of thing, where all you have to do is sprint and then dive to prone, sprint, dive to prone while you're doing that, and it basically speeds up uh, how you prone crawl, if you want to call it that. But in the beta, you can't do that. If you, you get up from prone so slow, your character acts like he just got out of a freaking Las Vegas buffet. It's ridiculous. It's impossible to do that. And your character, you know, I'm just going to emphasize it. Your character feels like a morbidly obese man who can't get out of a freaking, like, chair. Like, he's so slow and he's so jerky. It's... I don't know. I don't know why they did that to the characters, but basically, don't rely on drop shotting. Don't rely on like moving around too much while you're prone because you will get fucked over. And so, yeah, let's get back to the weapons. So, basically, the most dominant classes now seem to be assault and uh, recon. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I haven't unlocked much. I've only been playing it for like a day or two. I think I have like 9 hours of game time, which I guess is a good amount. But basically, the assault rifles are really good long range, or they're not good long range, they're really good medium range, really good short range, decent at long range. Uh, carbines are only good short range now. <laughs> you get absolutely pooped on if you try to go long range with them, like I said. I just unlocked the A91, and the A91 uh, is like a giant pile of dog turd compared to the A91 in the beta. It's so bad. The assault rifles are extremely good. The only thing Engineer has going for it is the launchers. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, assault range supreme because you can be aggressive with it. You can be, you know, you can heal teammates and shit. Uh, so, yeah, basically that's about it as far as weapons go. Uh, bolt actions, again, are still pretty good. They nerfed the shit out of the SVD and the MK11. Thank God. The MK11 is actually not that good now. And they fixed... Thank God they fixed the freaking grenade on the bush glitch. Because, uh... That shit, <laughs> that shit pissed me off so bad right there. All I did was try to hide from it. And, of course, a leaf catched my grenade. So, yeah. Uh, they fixed a lot of glitches. I haven't run into the reload glitch where you couldn't reload your gun. I haven't ran into the sprinting glitch where you couldn't sprint unless you shot a bullet. Uh, they fixed a lot of stuff, but uh, basically some things, big changes they made from the beta as well, and uh, from Bad Company 2 as well, because there wasn't any vehicles in here. Basically, uh, Humvees and passenger vehicles, like, you know, cars or whatever you want to call them, got a major buff. All vehicles in this game are buffed major. They are like twice as powerful at least. They are absolutely insane. It's ridiculous. So basically you got RPGs and you've got like uh, stinger missiles basically. And stinger missiles of course are for taking out aircraft. RPGs are for taking out land unless you want to take out a jet with an RPG. Good luck with that. But uh, basically <laughs> uh, vehicles like cars take three RPGs to kill now as opposed to Bad Company 2 where they only took 
one. Uh, now, I agree that one RPG for a uh, Humvee might uh, be a tad bit unrealistic, but three is retarded. So basically, it takes one to disable the vehicle, and disabling a vehicle is essentially making it so that it can't move. You know, if you disable a Humvee, it will move very slowly. It can't, or none at all. And right there, I shot right there because I had the running glitch, but uh, that's gone now, so it doesn't really matter. So basically, you have to disable it. Then you have to shoot another RPG at it, and it's still alive. But God knows how, but it is still alive, and the gunner in there is just fucking pissed. And this goes on a fucking knifing rampage, I swear to God. The kid pissed me off so bad. Like right there, I can imagine why he snuck up on me. I was in their spawn, but right here, like, honestly, like right here, this is fucking gay. Like, yeah, good job, bro. I'm proud of you. But anyways, yeah, tanks uh take four RPG shots to kill. I bel no, not four RPGs. At least maybe five RPGs. But they take a shitload, and tank battles have been. Uh, tank battles are a toss-up now because you have so many people running engineer because of all the vehicles. It's so hard to kill vehicles by yourself if you're an engineer unless you have a squad of like support where they just give you unlimited ammo. But basically, you know, you've got tanks versus tanks. It takes like four or five tank shots to kill an enemy tank. And right there, that kill, that would be impossible in the in the main game because the recoil or just that main accuracy of the gun is just so bad it's so high up but anyways that was the end of the game I'll have another commentary out soon hopefully hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative if you did please leave a like and a subscription and